not just girls, ladies as well. They will come in and they just want to train. And they're like, wait, we took to train. <laughs> just like Karen Lyon when she was <laughs> wanting to be strong. Just have to go to the gym. And then even during their, their cycle, right, uh, they will still come. And then I'll be like, what can I do with you, man? <laughs> no, you can still do you can still do the same stuff with them. So oh. even though even though they are okay, so for, for girls in your cycle, they can do things normally. Mm-hmm. Right? If they are not affected by discomfort, they are not affected by stomach cramps. Some girls do, some girls don't. Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, we just need to uh, be aware of this fact because it's not like it's not like you're in a cycle and then you're like, if you have your menstruation and then you're like, <laughs> I can't do anything. They can, they can still do stuff. It's just that if let's say at that period of time um, or a certain period of time in their 28-day cycle, hey, they're not performing as usual and they're not able to push this as... Hey, they she could do it last week. Right? Mm-hmm. But then after that, you... But then it's the ability of the coach to also understand that, hey, okay, oh, uh, yeah, we can still work on this, but maybe... Um, for this other segment, uh, we'll push again next week. Mm. Because you understand that she's at that stage of the cycle where you know the body doesn't want to push. Okay. So so that there, there, there is definitely a, a reduction in 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 in, uh, in in strength during that, that cycle itself. Um or is so it, a 28 is day it cycle, is- yeah, a 28 day cycle, scientifically and Ideally, yes, theoretically, we can try and uh, manipulate training or, you know, change programming in accordance mm. to uh, suit her cycle. So theoretically, mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, it may or may not always work. And mm. at a non-pro or elite level, mm. I'd say it's not very critical. Mm. Okay, so this is where it gets very tricky because I, I, do, I do train a, a couple of girls uh, whereby... They compete in like national comps or even youth world cup, youth world cup and stuff like that, right? Uh, so how what if happens that the competition date itself it is within that cycle? <laughs> when you mean during menstruation? Yeah, yeah. Okay. In fact, actually during menstruation they can push. That's what I heard as well. It's like you know the the the, the science just keeps changing. It's like bloody annoying. No? <laughs> No, no, but 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 then it because records have been broken where yep. with uh uh athletes are on the same yeah. yes yes mm. but the key thing is it's individual as well mm. right because some women just get crampy and then they just get bloated and stuff or things like that yep. um especially maybe like the first three days or so mm. Mm. on the on the um the first three days of the cycle. And, and it's really hard to say, but some women, it doesn't bother them. Yeah, most, most of the ladies that I know that bothers, bothers them, right, I would know because they can't perform. Uh, the ladies that doesn't affect them, I basically don't know because there's no need to talk about it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, and so what I'm talking about is these ladies who, and usually it's like two days before, everything just come collapsing down and things like that. They, 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 they just can't function the way they used to. They can't pull the way they heart. They, I mean, they can't. They don't have the enough strength, or they just feel the target. And, on, on and the so, well. and so, then as a coach, we need to help them be okay with it. Okay.